guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you around Paint.net and basically showing you the basic tools of Paint.net, how to use all of them and stuff. So yeah, let's get on with this. So basically, first, when you load up Paint.net, you've got all these windows up here that you can move freely around as you want. And there you go, you can move these around. Now, the most important um, windows here are colors, tools, and layers. You don't really need history. Um, history is for basically monitoring what you've done so far. And unless you're really paranoid and want to keep keep track of everything you've done step by step, you don't really need this. So right, let's go through all the tools in our tools section. So let's just undo all of this by pressing Control Z. This is the selection tool. So if you want to, you know, select anything, delete anything, you just select it, delete it, Control Z to undo it. Um, if you want to deselect stuff, you just click this deselect button right here. Um, this is the moving tool. So for example, if I create a new layer here, um, I can just draw anything here. And if I select the moving tool, I can move it around freely. But you have to make sure to create a new layer every time. That's very important. So if I just undo that again, Control Z. Um, this is the lasso tool. So if you've, um, you want to select like a certain thing, you just sort of go around it, select it, and then move it around. But you have to make a new layer again. So here we have the ellipse selection tool. This is quite useless because it's just a circle and you can't really do much with it, so I just don't really use it. Um, our next tool is the zoom tool. So if you just zoom in, you can just basically zoom in and if you press Control B, you can zoom out again and then zoom in again, zoom out again, <laughs> however you want. This is the magic wand tool. So if I just make a new layer, paste the picture of Boris Johnson here randomly, um, now, I only want the face of um, our mayor, so I, I don't want this blue background. So what do I do? I select the magic wand tool and select him. But look, it's it, it selected everything. Now, this is because the tolerance is way too high. We need to get it down to about 50. Oh no, it, it, it's, it's still actually too high, so we get it down to 32, which is good. So now we select it, it selects only what we want, and now we delete it. Next up is the paint bucket tool, which is quite obvious. You just make a new layer, paint bucket. There you go. If you um, if you make it black, it goes black. If you make it blue, it it goes blue. There you go. Um, this is the gradient tool, which is pretty useful if you want to make some fancy graphic or something. Um, if you, um, it's very important to select both a secondary and a primary color in this one. Um, for example, if you do a primary color color as black and the secondary as blue. It goes from black to blue, surprisingly. Now you've got the paintbrush, which is probably the most important tool in your toolkit. That's what allows you to draw. And now if you want to delete all of what I drew, you just get the eraser tool and just delete it. You can increase the brush size here. There you go, that deletes it. You can also delete stuff by selecting it using the lasso tool and clicking delete. Now you've got the pencil tool here, which is absolutely useless because it, it just makes you a one pixel line um, and you can't really adjust the size of it, so it's pretty useless. This is the text tool, this button here. So if you want to write Yakabelt, there you go, you just write Yakabelt. Here you can select the font you want to write in, so if you want a, you want a fancy font, write Yakabelt, there you go, you wrote Yakabelt. Now you've got the line tool. Now, this is, oh god, my, that line is way too thick. Um, I just want to lower that slightly. If you want to make a line, you just make a line using the line tool, and if you want to curve it, you select these little square pinpoints and you have to curve the line. These are the shape tools and um, they make a shape according to how they appear in your toolbar. So this makes a square, this makes a slightly curved square, this makes a circle, and this just makes a random weird shape of your liking. Right, so this is it for the toolkit. Now we go over to our top bar for the effects and adjustments. Um, our first area is artistic. So, for example, if I get another picture of Boris Johnson up um, and click Effects, and I want to make it slightly artistic, a bit abstract, I can make it into an oil painting. And if I adjust the brush size, yeah. So now we go over to the Blur section. Um, our most important one is this one, the Gaussian Blur. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, this blurs the entire image, so if you just want to blur Boris Johnson's face because you, you, you're tired of seeing him on your on your canvas, you just blur him out. 
Um, you've got a zoom blur, so if you want to make some sort of ep epic effect zooming into his face, or in this case his mouth, um, you just click zoom blur. If you want to adjust where it zooms, you click this sort of cursor cross and you adjust um, where it zooms. So there you go, if I put it in the bottom right corner, it zooms to the bottom right corner, that's where it focuses. Right, next up is our photo tools. So if we, for example, type something, I don't know, in our impact font, capitals, if we type Yakabelt, pop it in the center using this, um, we can make it glow. Unfortunately, that's it for this week. Next week, I'm going to be teaching you the more professional tools of paint.net, as well as how to apply the basic tools to make more complicated drawings. Thank you for watching. Bye.